It's Gucci everybody and today in this tutorial I want to make a video about pointers to functions. Now you may not, we've in other videos or other basic videos I've made, we've seen that you can have a pointer to about anything. Well it turns out in C you can also have a pointer to a function. So let me show you guys a quick example here. It can be a pretty complicated process and can look different from many other things that you've seen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a function called print and let's see, I'll make it void. I'm going to make it take an int of a, and I'm just going to have this function print out a. So I'm going to print. A. And there we go. So I made a I made a print function. Now what this print function is going to do is that it's going to print out the variable. It's going to print out, you know, whatever I pass in A. But what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to make a pointer. I'm going to make a variable that is pointed at the address of where this function is stored, and then I'm going to be able to run through run variables and call that variable that's pointed to the function just like it's a function. And this is pretty cool. So let me show you guys right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Again, I'm going to I'm going to make a void pointer. I'm going to make a pointer to a function, and the way I want to do this is I want to give it the type of what the function I'm returning, the function I want to return to. I want to give it its return type, which is void, and then I'm going to put parentheses around it, and I'm going to give it the star symbol, the dereference symbol, and I'm going to name it anything I want. This is the name of what it's going to be, and then I'm going to have another parentheses indicating the parameter type. So if I had additional parameters, I would do that. I just need to say the type. So I can say int, I give the dereference symbol, I give it void, the return type, and then I give it the dereference symbol, and then I give it a name, I could name it anything, food, food, and then I give it the return types. So then all I have to do is I can say food is equal to print. And then once I do that, I can call food just like it's a method. Right here, I can call food like it's a method. So I need to tell food to be able to, be able to print to do the function. I could do the ampersand for the address, but I don't always, I don't have to. The address is already implicitly given to me, and I forgot a semicolon, so it's going to give me an error before I run this. Oops. I can click yes. And so when you see here, I ran the program, I got three. I got the three that I inserted right here, and I was able to call. The, I was able to point a function to a variable from what I created. And what makes that really cool is that imagine if I had a handler or a button. Let's say I had a button, and every time I press this button, I wanted a this print function to be called. Well, then I could I could give this button the point, I could give the pass in the button a pointer to my function. And then I'll be able to, and then I would be able to call that function from the press down button method that I had. So that's what's really cool about the functions. And also, something that you may see that's kind of complicated is that let's say I returned a void pointer, which is perfectly okay. Um, return null. I just I'm showing you guys this example because it seems kind of complicated, but it means the same thing. All this means is that I am returning a void pointer. I'm returning a void pointer and that I still have a method, I still have a function pointer named food that has a parameter of int. And I'm setting food equal to the address of print so then I can call it. And as you can see here, everything still runs this. When I run this program, I still get three. Um, you know what? Just for you guys, I will change this just to make it, to make you guys convinced that I have changed it. So that seems pretty cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll post this code on GitHub, which you can see in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.